Hi, I'm Scott Smith, President and CEO of OneGuard Home Warranties. The team at OneGuard and I want to let you know about some legislative changes that took place recently that are going to have a major impact on the air conditioning units used to cool our homes. We know this is a long video, but it's a complex issue that will affect millions of homeowners like you. We want you to have all the facts and understand how this could impact you and your budget. We hope you'll take the opportunity to watch this video in its entirety. We are very concerned because most homeowners in America are not aware that the Environmental Protection Agency is phasing out the production of Freon by 2020. The origin of this legislation goes back quite a few years. In the early 1990s, the United States Congress passed legislation that phases out chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, and hydrochlorofluorocarbons, HCFCs, because of their ozone depleting properties. Freon, or R22, which has been the refrigerant of choice for residential heat pumps and air conditioning systems for more than 40 years, is an HCFC that the EPA is now phasing out. Because more than 70% of homeowners still have air conditioning systems that utilize Freon, this phase out is going to impact a lot of Americans. To comply with the phase out of Freon, new air conditioners have been re-engineered to use a refrigerant called Puron, or R410A, which is more environmentally friendly. Unfortunately, Puron cannot be used in the older Freon-based air conditioning systems. The regulations enacted by the EPA require that the supply of Freon produced in the United States be reduced over time starting in 2010, but the EPA has recently decided to speed up the phase out of Freon. The allowable production is being cut by more than 57% in 2015 versus last year. In 2020, the production of Freon will be completely banned in the United States. This significant reduction in supply is driving the cost of Freon up dramatically. For example, in 2010, air conditioning contractors were charging less than $20 per pound for Freon. By 2013, the average retail price for a pound of Freon increased to more than $60. In 2015, it is anticipated that the retail price of Freon may increase to as much as $150 per pound, and by 2016, it may even double. As a result, even the cost of minor repairs to an AC unit will increase significantly. Approximately 35 to 40 percent of AC repairs require the recharging of Freon, and as the cost of Freon escalates, so does the cost of repairs. As an example, replacing a simple valve in an AC unit typically involves the recharging of refrigerant, using on average about 10 to 12 pounds of Freon. What was once a simple $300 repair could now cost in the neighborhood of $1,800 because of the increasing cost of Freon. This will cause homeowners to think twice about doing simple repairs, even on a new AC unit, and may force them to replace their AC units well before the end of their useful lives. What exactly does this mean to you, the homeowner? As mentioned before, about 70% of the AC units in operation today continue to use Freon. If you own a home with an AC unit that was made before 2010, it probably uses Freon and you can pretty much expect that any leaks or repairs to your AC unit will become more and more expensive as the price of Freon escalates. This means that at some point in the very near future, you and I are faced with a difficult decision. Do you continue to spend a lot of money to replace Freon and repair a unit that is becoming obsolete, or do you bite the bullet and invest in a replacement unit that uses the more environmentally friendly and efficient Puron? These decisions require much more thought than before the escalation of Freon costs. We understand the frustration and shock that comes with knowing that this action by the EPA is going to cost homeowners a lot of money. In fact, it's a situation that we've been agonizing over for years. Already, most home warranty companies in America have limited or excluded Freon as a covered item. At some point in the near future, as the cost of Freon becomes more expensive than gold, we also may not be able to cover the cost of recharging Freon, but we want to help. I want to share a few of the solutions that the OneGuard team put in place to help our customers. First, in order to mitigate the impact of the increasing cost of Freon, we have recently purchased a year's supply of the refrigerant. This means that for all of 2015, we will continue to cover the recharging of Freon when it's required in conjunction with a covered air conditioning repair. However, this supply will only last for about one year. By the summer of 2016, the price of Freon will be so high that we may not be able to cover the cost of recharging Freon. It is our hope that this action 
would provide you with some needed time to prepare financially for the impact of this phase out. Second, while we might not be able to cover the cost of Freon in 2016 and beyond, we will continue to provide coverage for quality repairs and replacements on your Freon-based air conditioning units when they fail due to normal wear and tear. But if you would prefer to replace your AC with an upgraded, more energy-efficient Puron model instead of us making the covered repair, we'll provide you with cash in the amount it would have cost us to make that repair. You can use this money to offset some of the cost of a brand new Puron-based system. Third, we are working closely with our contractors to identify solutions to help make the purchase of a new Puron-based AC system more affordable. This may include discounts of up to 15%, as well as affordable financing options. We are also identifying other rebates and incentives that may be available to help offset the cost of Freon. Our goal is to help take as much pain as possible out of these purchases. Finally, we have been meeting with congressmen and other government officials to advocate for new regulations that can ease the burden for American homeowners. We support actions that prudently protect the beautiful world we live in. However, we believe that there is a better way to phase out the, this ozone depleting substance. Instead of limiting the supply of Freon and increasing its cost beyond affordability, we believe that the more reasonable and prudent approach is to ban the production and sale of new Freon AC units. This would allow homeowners to replace their AC units with the more environmentally friendly Puron units when they reach the end of their useful lives instead of replacing them prematurely. While this proposal may take an extra 10 or 15 years to phase out Freon, it will not require the unexpected premature financial hardships that ultimately the current EPA mandate places on homeowners. We will continue our campaign and hope that by doing so, we can drive a change in the legislation to slow the phase out of R22 and ensure that homeowners can use their current AC equipment to the full extent of its useful life. If you have any questions about the phase out of Freon and how this could affect your home, please visit phaseoutfacts.org. We want you to know we're here to help.